Let's get started. I'm Ben Petakowski, and I'm the Content and Marketing Operations Manager for Canvas. And I want to welcome you all to our second Canvas conversation, Driving an ROI with 3D Capture. Today, we'll talk about the ways that Canvas can benefit your business's bottom line. We'll start by doing a brief overview of Canvas, 3D scanning, and our scan to CAD service. However, if you're interested in learning more about that, after this webinar is over, I'll be sharing a link to yesterday's Canvas conversation, 3D Capture 101, which really dives into that in more detail. Then we'll talk about ways to quantify the time savings into dollars that you achieve with Canvas. We'll talk about what you can do with the time that Canvas saves you, how you can use 3D scanning to drive additional revenue, and ultimately, who pays for scan to CAD. And then we'll have time for some questions and answers afterwards. Let's start with a brief explainer of what Canvas is. Canvas lets you capture 3D models of rooms in seconds and entire homes in minutes. It's got a lot of complex technological features under the hood, computer vision, LiDAR sensors, but it's built for home improvement professionals who don't wanna learn how to use a new piece of hardware or software. If you can take a video on your phone or on your iPad, you can use Canvas. It's free to download and it's free to get started. You can just download it from the Apple App Store and start scanning. We offer a paid service that does take your scan data and converts that into design-ready, editable CAD formats. And we'll talk about that later. And we are primarily focused on residential interiors. That's not to say that we don't have customers who use us to scan restaurants and stores and warehouses, but there sometimes are some differences when you're scanning a larger space or a space that has typical pieces of equipment that you wouldn't find in a home. I'm gonna play a brief one minute video that explains Canvas, and then I'll explain it a little bit more in detail after that. With Canvas, you can measure rooms in seconds, entire homes in minutes, create as-built drawings and CAD models in one tap, all with a LiDAR-enabled iPad Pro and iPhone 12 Pro. Just download the Canvas app and start scanning. It's as easy as making a video. You can use your 3D scan instantly and measure anything. Upload and share your 3D model with anyone. And you can even use your 3D scans to generate editable, professional grade CAD formats like SketchUp, Revit, Chief Architect, 2020 Design Live, and AutoCAD as well as 2D drawings as PDFs. Join thousands of home improvement professionals who save hours measuring and creating as built with Canvas. So that's Canvas in a nutshell. And what I'm showing you here now is what the scanning process is like. And as you can see, you basically walk through a home at the speed you would as if you were seeing it for the first time and paint the walls essentially with your device you'll see it puts that white overlay over what's been captured and what remains to be captured. So it's not like you'll be surprised about what was measured and captured and what wasn't. Once you complete that scan, you get a digital twin, which is essentially a model of that space that you can explore. And you can share this with anyone using your app or even a web browser. So anyone on any device can then move around that space as if they were there. So we've heard from customers that it's almost rare that you leave a job site with every measurement you actually need. There's almost one that you inevitably forget about. This way, you never forget a measurement. You capture every measurement in that space and you can go back and revisit it from anywhere at any time. Once you've done that, our scan to CAD service is a semi-automated service that takes your scan data and processes it into design-ready, edible, editable professional grade CAD and BIM models. It takes about two business days to convert a space that's under a thousand square feet, about three business days to process a space that's between one and 3,000 square feet, and four days and perhaps a little longer for spaces above 3,000 square feet if it gets much larger. We charge 15 cents per square foot for our 3D formats with a $20 minimum and 10 cents per square foot for our 2D formats with a $10 minimum. And basically, once you complete your scans, you're able to upload them to the scan to CAD service. 
And as you can see, we currently directly support SketchUp, Revit, Chief Architect, 2020 Design Live, which are all 3D CAD and BIM programs, as well as AutoCAD and PDF for 2D floor plans. And it's important to note that if you use a product beyond one of these, you may be able to use the output with your software of choice. So if you'll notice, the SketchUp package comes with a SketchUp file as well as a 3D DWG and DAE file. So that can work with other programs. And the same with Revit and Chief Architect in 2020 and our AutoCAD output as well. So there are a lot of options that you have. And basically, within a few days after you upload your scan, you get an email like this. You can click through and you can download the colorized scans, which are available fairly soon after you immediately place your order. And then you can download the CAD model. And one of the cool things that we can do is you can scan rooms individually and we will merge them together for one global CAD model, as you can see here with that kitchen I was scanning earlier. And this is a SketchUp example, but we do output to all those other outputs. Once you get that file, it is designed as if you made it yourself. Everything's grouped and layered and tagged as it would have been as if you had done it. And you can turn off layers, you can turn off your cabinetry, you can turn off the outlets, you can turn off the HVAC registers, and you can move architectural elements as if you had designed it yourself. So each piece is editable. It's not just one large uneditable block. Now that you have a brief understanding of what Canvas and Scan the CAD does, let's talk about how it's able to save you time and money. The math behind the simple ROI is pretty simple. You take the time you saved, multiply it by your labor costs, you subtract the scan to CAD fee, and that's your savings. We'll talk about some examples on the next slide, but it's important to note that every business is different. So you might have a different cost structure, you might have a different labor structure or labor costs in your area. So it really depends exactly on your business your geographical area, and other factors. It's important to note that Canvas helps you save time in, in two key areas. One is on measuring. Our customers tell us that they typically spend between four and eight hours measuring their client's home. Canvas takes those hours of measuring and reduces it to minutes of scanning. So it takes around 30 to 60 seconds to scan your average room, about 20 to 30 minutes to scan your average home. So you can already see the cost save, the time savings there. Canvas then helps you save time modeling it. So after you've spent all that time capturing those measurements, typically our customers tell us they spend about a day or two recreating those measurements that they documented in their CAD program of choice. Canvas ultimately reduces that from days of work to no work you get that fully editable design ready file ready for you. So you can start planning your improvements, your furniture, your layout, your remodeling right there, right away. So let's take a look at two examples where you can get a sense of what that will save you. And again, we're making some assumptions here. Every product is going every project is going to be different, but let's say you're remodeling a small 250 square foot kitchen. You may have spent an hour measuring that and an hour or two modeling that in your product of choice. Let's say your hourly rate is $60 an hour. That would have cost about $120. In this example, you spend five minutes scanning and a little less than $40 on your scan to CAD output. And so you save around uh, $80 on a small project like that. And if you're doing multiple projects a year or even a month, you can quickly see how those savings will add up. However, the savings are even more stark if you think about a full home remodel. So let's take a 2,500 square foot home and let's assume that you would spend around six hours measuring and around 10 hours modeling that in your CAD product of choice. So at $60 an hour, that labor would have been around $1,000. In this case, you have replaced that with half an hour of scanning and less than $400 in Scandicad fees. So you've saved uh, around $600 on that project. So if you multiply that by the amount of projects you do a year, you can clearly see how quickly Canvas starts paying for itself, as well as the iPad or iPhone that you may need to invest in in order to use it. So the savings add up there. But you may be asking, okay, so that saves me time. What do I do with that time? 
Well, you probably already have an idea, but here are a few suggestions of things you can do while you're waiting for those scanned ACAD files to come back. You can work on other aspects of that project, because remember, you've got that digital twin available immediately. You can start taking larger measurements and start estimating certain projects or pieces of that project. You can share them with your subcontractors to get bids on flooring or painting or other aspects of that. It's also likely that you're not only working on one project at a time, you're probably doing multiple. So you can spend time that while you're waiting for that Scandicad file to come back to take on more projects or work on those other projects. You've got less time that you're spending building those as builts. So if you're gonna replace that time sitting in front of the computer, you can use that to offer more options or more design iterations to your clients to see if you can urge them into move them into more expensive, larger projects. You can also spend more time with clients. Since you're not gonna be running around their home with a tape measure, you can spend more time talking to them to build a relationship, find out more about exactly what it is they're looking to get out of this project they're undertaking with you. And you can increase that bond, which makes them trust you more. And you can probably upsell them into larger projects. You can also invest more time in marketing. One of the clients I've worked with, Thomas Reynolds of Green Stories, which is an architecture firm on the East Coast, he got into TikTok. He's now the TikTok architect and he's built up a following of more than 15,000 followers. And he's able to take some of the time he saves by not doing as built manually to build up his presence on social media and develop his network. And of course, who says you have to take the time that you've saved and put it into your business? You could hang out with your family if you wanna do that or do nothing, go hang out on a boat by yourself. But basically you can figure out that the upside is endless and you can choose to use your time however you'd like, but there are ways you can use that to help increase the bottom line of your business. Now, in addition to that time savings, some of our most successful customers earn more money with Canvas by asking this one important question. Are you thinking about any other projects? And even regardless of the answer, you can just take a few minutes to scan the rest of their house, and that way you have all the measurements of their home in case they want to move forward. So once you've had those, once you've captured that scan, that project is essentially yours to lose if they decide to increase the scope of work. You have two choices. At the beginning of that project, you can start, you can take that scan to CAD or your scan data and upload it all to scan to CAD so that you have that mo global model of their home to begin with. You can start playing around with design, maybe show them what their extra bathroom would look like if, with an update uh, and see if you can upsell the project at the very start. The other option you have is if you've scanned room by room, you don't have to upload all of those additional scans to scan to CAD at once. You can wait until later on in the project when you've had more time to establish a relationship and perhaps they're happy with the work that you're doing and now they're saying, oh, now that our kitchen's gonna look great, we really need to take care of that hallway bathroom. It looks pretty ugly. And you can say, great, I've already got that. Let me put it into Scandicad and I can start throwing together some design iterations for you. So there are two options to do it that way. There are other benefits or ROIs from Canvas as well. We've heard from our customers that 3D renderings help get their clients to yes, but they oftentimes have trouble visualizing what something looks like based on pictures of existing projects or uh, seeing materials in your uh, showroom. So we've got another customer in Florida, Paul McManus of McManus Kitchen and Baths, who offers his customers two options on their initial consultations. He always charges for those initial consultations, but now he's able to offer an enhanced one that includes a scan to CAD order upfront so that he's able to do some initial design work when they're in the showroom to show them what their actual kitchen will look like. He's told us that about one quarter of his customers or potential customers come into that showroom but have trouble ultimately visualizing what their kitchen is gonna look like. Sure, they can see what other clients' kitchens have looks like, looks like and they can look at the materials in that showroom, but they have trouble sort of connecting the dots. Because he's allowed to charge a slightly bit more to do a initial design of their kitchen, they're able to sort of see what's possible right away. And he's able to convert those, those potential customers into actual customers more conveniently. 
And our customers also tell us that Canvas helps them project a tech-savvy premium image that helps build trust right at the start of the project. Instead of coming in with old-fashioned technology like a tape measure, they're able to come in with an iPad or an iPhone and scan that space, impressing their clients who believe now that they are very technologically adept. So this is a good way to help position yourself as a savvy remodeler, interior designer, whatever your craft or trade is. This shows you that you're at the cutting edge of your game, you're using new technology, and you are open to new things. Now that you sort of understand the benefits of Canvas, the one thing to talk through is who pays for it. And we have customers who use it, uh, who have different methods, and we don't recommend a specific one, but sort of wanted to lay out what the options are so that you can help make those decisions yourself. In, in some cases, you pay for that scan to CAD order yourself. The benefit of this is you don't really have to get into the details explaining what it is that you're doing. Uh, and you're able to then either increase your margins or undercut your competition. Let's say you've got a flat fee model where you've charged a set amount for initial schematic designs of a remodel. If you had spent 20 hours doing that before, now it may take you 10 since you were able to sort of cut out that initial measurement and modeling of the as-built before you could get into presenting your updated plans. Well, you can still charge the same amount knowing that it takes you half amount of time and you can increase your margin significantly that way. The other option is if you are charging an hourly rate, you can undercut the competition by quoting fewer hours to get the job done. And so either way, you win and you can decide whether you wanna pass those savings onto your client to help you win more business or if you wanna keep those increased margins for yourself. The other option, of course, is to pass the scan to CAD costs onto your clients. And you can do that by itemizing it as a line item on your invoice. You can use a cost plus markup to actually profit on your use of Canvas right away. But in either of those situations, we do recommend explaining to your customers how Canvas saves them money so that they don't just see another fee that they may not see based on previous jobs they've done or their knowledge of the remodeling or interior design market, but you can explain that by using Canvas, I was able to save you 20 hours of labor at $60 an hour. So you end up coming out ahead. So you have multiple options as to who pays for Canvas, but this helps, uh, hopefully this helps give you some ideas about if you're thinking about bringing this into your business, how you'd like to do it. So that sort of concludes my initial presentation. And now I'll turn it over and see what questions have come in and see what I can answer. And of course, if there's something I can't answer, or if you're watching this later, feel free to email me. My email address is ben at canvas.io or our excellent customer success team at support at canvas.io. And we'll be able to help you answer any of the questions that may have come up. So let me take a look at this questions panel and chat and see what we've got there. Um, so Darcy has asked about advice for scanning ceilings. We actually recommend not scanning a lot of the ceilings, especially because of the lights, the way that the lights in the ceiling can interact with the LiDAR sensor on your device uh, can cause some issues. What you really need to scan when scanning the ceiling is where the walls meet the ceiling and the floor. You don't have to scan all of the floor or the ceiling. We're basically looking for that outer edge of the room and that's uh, what you need to capture as you're modeling. And that seems like it in the chat. Let me take a look at the questions. Um, when will you update iPhone app to allow you to name homes? Um, I need to get some clarification on that for my team, but I know that that is coming sooner than later. Um, additionally, if you're curious about the iPhone, we are bringing the ability to walk around while you're scanning to the iPhone in the next few weeks. So that will be here sooner than later. Um, we have someone else asking about uh, having an old structure on iPad. Is it worth it for you to upgrade? And is there any ability to resell the structure to others? Um, why don't you reach out to me afterwards and we can talk about um, the process of uh, uh, getting rid of your old structure sensor. There are some benefits to using the iPad with the LiDAR sensor these days. One is namely you can scan larger spaces without running out of memory. 
So if that's something that you're interested in and you're just interested in updating your iPad to begin with, that is something uh, that we can help with. But let's take that offline and you can reach me, uh, uh, reach out to me afterwards and we can discuss those specifics. Um, let's see. So someone's asked, when you do scan to CAD, do you actually design the space 3D rendering prior to the client paying for it or have the client pay for that first? Now, I think ultimately that becomes one of your choices to make as a business owner, how you would want to handle that. Um, from what I've read and seen, you typically do want to have customers pay some sort of fee up front so that they have skin in the game, so that they're not just trying you out and you are obviously investing quite a bit of time in designing a space for them up front. So I would recommend uh, personally charging some sort of amount, both to cover your scan to CAD fee, as well as the time that you'll spend put it designing an updated space for them. I'm not sure which uh, part of the market you're interested in, you work in if you're a remodeler or interior designer, but I'd say if you're investing work, you shouldn't be doing a ton of that for free up front. So um, in, in the example I talked about earlier with McManus Kitchen and Bath, there is a, I think it's relatively modest, I think it's around four or $500 fee that their potential customers pay up front for that enhanced bid that includes an initial design. So that way you're not investing time and into something that you ultimately don't get back. Let's see if there are any other questions. I'll, I'll, I'm here and uh, you can always follow up via email or uh, reach out to our success team uh, with any other questions. And obviously each business is unique and so we're happy to sort of consult and uh, advise you as to ways when to use Canvas in your sales cycle, when to use it in your project life cycle. Um, it's your business ultimately, you're making that decision, but we can sort of share examples uh, from customers who've told us how they're using Canvas in their business. All right, so it looks like that's it for questions for today. So I will wrap things up. I wanna thank you all for joining me. I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope it answered some of the questions you may have had about how to monetize Canvas in your workflow. Uh, thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day.